Kumbienu on Raising Babies 101, we talk tough conversations that need to be had. Lingwana how? Divorce. Race. Naming your child's private parts. Blended families. It's all coming up today on Raising Babies 101. and my wonderful studio audience. Humpienu, we discuss difficult questions that need to be had with your child and how to have them and when to start having them. I am joined today by Musima Letualo and Batsiba Mutwa, clinical psychologists. They join us here to discuss one of the most painful conversations one has to have with their child, the approach and what exactly to say. We're talking divorce. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. So I'll start with you, uh, Musima. Uh, what was it like um, being a child that had the parents' divorce? The um, it it, it um, wasn't easy because um, as, a, as a second born, but, but the first girl, for some reason, I took it all on my shoulders. Mm. Um, I was the one telling my mom, no, let me leave a private school, let's go to a public school, because things were uh, really bad. Coming home, no lights. My dad wasn't there, he was somewhere. So um, um, I think I took it hard, and then my um, uh, uh, brother, he was all grown, so he was just um, thinking about uh, school, nothing else. So it was just me and um, uh, my mom figuring out what's next. Mm. And I was just in grade four or five, so it was really, really hard for me, really. Now I must ask you about Zeba Hore, for Bana, divorce, especially between, uh, you know, ages zero to five, is wrong for Fubana, Tabaya divorce? Um, it's it's very difficult because I get what you're looking at. Um, but never quite say that home alone or is stable. Mama le papa ba jula kamo kai ba izu kona ko e e rileng mama watla papa watla and then ba jula ba le bot. So all of a sudden mama kasa bo or papa kasa bo wadi lo di di change it like musi me abu a kona kona li lo te alone kona te never quite izu kona di te kadi sale thing. So it's 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 very um, traumatic for one, especially because kaba isi ba will that language and even the way ba expressing the emotions is about kaba se will be kadi so holy to a point where mo lo kona le ko ko pa kaba na the skills kadi si di di be thing. You know, okay, this is what is happening. said question setting. The financial implications for one katava ena ya divorce. Um, sure. I think then that's when we also have to bring in, you know, the whole legal system into mm. it. Um, I think in, in, in South Africa, we're very lucky because we have something called family advocate. I don't know if you are, you are aware of mm -mm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, so advocate. what happens is that if, if um, the parents, uh, a couple, but divorce, you know, they must via the family advocate where they will decide what it's, what's in the best interest of the child, mm -hmm. uh, not just financially. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also looking at spiritually, emotionally, psychologically. But what happens is that they will force whoever, both parents, have to take responsibility financially. How do you say to a child, Jorge, decisionary and saying, how do you begin that discussion? Okay. With with kids, we know Jorge, you know, the Baba comfortable like the games. Yeah. So we actually make it appropriate for for their ages. Okay, cool. Uh change. Mama and Baba Basalarat. So but the nice thing is that we're going to be having two homes. Yeah. So when are you such a lucky child? Because you can visit dad and go live at dad's house, and then you also live at mom's house. So then, you know, you, you will hear what the concerns that when I during. Musima, when I was talking about how I live out, I was talking about how I live out, I was talking about how I live No, um, we just saw Papa, one day he was gone. We were all alone. Mm -hmm. With with mm -hmm. with uh, blacks, we don't talk, though. Mm -hmm. You see, that's the thing. So we just see, and we'll then guess, oh, okay, no, I guess this is that then. Mm. Mm -hmm. What is the consequence here, but what about so? Basable leba na huetsa kala. Well, it's very bad. Uh, wana would start performing poorly go so long. Uh, sometimes you'll find horo wana ona le this acting out behavior. Ovitela like, go so long ba bota horo. What what is going on with this child? And then wana because wana neglected, and then wana self esteem ya drop. You know uh, they withdraw. 
and the kids can also be depressed. And the challenge go with kids, you know, five and below, the, the depressive symptoms had it one lesser on about to have If but what about how Musima if they had bowed to it by Bella but do a low enough fats about how to say this is what's happening. We're separating. Would that have changed the law for one? Yes, it would, because um, now I still feel like um, my dad, he is the cause, right? But I think both of them, they, they had a part to play in it. But I just know one side. Tabayana, does it also bring shame, Mubani? It's a lot of guilt mm. and, and shame in terms of the public, you know, your parents, because you feel like it's my fault. You know, maybe I did something, mm. and especially with young kids, because they don't understand. Or, you know, people, you know, a couple can have their differences and because of that, things can end. Mm. So you feel, or maybe I was a naughty child, you want to try very hard. You will see kids trying to bring their, you know, their parents together because they don't understand. This is the outcome of your relationship, your mama and papa. Um, hopefully, if the parents can actually, you know, put the differences aside and talk to them together, it would actually help. If mm. they cannot, come to therapy, you know, because it's a very safe environment. Definitely, parents speak speak to the to the kid. Thank you so much, ladies. It's clear, uh, but Wadi, if you're going to be going through that, uh, is sad and traumatic for one, just a divorce. This is what's happening, and also have empathy and feelings for Banabalona and how difficult it is for them outside of yourselves. Thanks again, ladies. Thank you very much. As they say, kids need parents, not part-time visitors with gifts. Up next, you decide. On You Decide Today, the question is, how do you have a conversation about race before it's an issue? We found a group of children to talk to and to explain to us what their perception of race was. How to share with Have any of you been hurt before? Yeah. And you yeah, I've been hurt a lot of times. Did you need a plaster? No, oh, sometimes. sometimes. I didn't need a plaster. You got hurt. Was it bleeding? Yes. It was bleeding. And what, and what color was your blood? Red. I also got hurt on my finger, and then when I got hurt on my finger, my blood was also red. So everybody's blood is red. <laughs> everybody's blood is the same color. But what about people's skin? It, it's not the same color. Some people's skin is those colour, colour. Some people are the brown. Can I ask you a question? Yes. I'll start off with hope. Okay. What colour are you hope? Brown. Brownish white. Brownish white. Uh, I think brownish white, I think. Oh, do you think the colour of your skin is important? I don't know. You don't know? Do you think if everybody had the same color skin, do you think it would be fun? It would be weird to me. Weird, very weird, hey? Because I wouldn't know what, what, who's my friend here. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> you, you get confused very quickly, hey? Huh? When you're playing on the playground. Can you imagine if we woke up tomorrow and everybody had the same skin color as Teacher Lauren? Oh. Just, just with yeah, different faces. It'll make everybody so dizzy. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. It would be weird. It would be. It wouldn't be no, fun. No, I would. I, I would know which one is you because you know what happens. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this person o different ga ise a mmone ga tlhaloganye gore go diragala it had nothing else attached to it mm. so i think ka ka the age of 5 it's because literature are bolella gore ke gona mo ba ithutang gape le the moral values mm. so that is when you know ga o sa ba fe the the right uh, skills mm. then they will start adding all these other things that might be negative mm-hmm, mm-hmm. now wa ka di di negatives are bo eganyane ka tsone isms 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 which we know them like the racism that comes in where does it come from that's where we're looking at who is better than the other eh ka ba mosotho o better oh mosotho motho mons o you know maybe o inferior to lokhoa or motho mong you know motsonga is you know is inferior to muzulu you know motswadi o manager joang taba ena best for one Uh, issues that are really, really, they're really affecting our kids. Mm. Um, I think the important thing, Gokhore, we need to teach our kids that they're important. Mm. And then, like I mean, what does Buzo have to do with anything? Mm. I mean, can you imagine? Well, and Gokhore, if never to another, but can give a real young. And you tell your kids, "Do you know something unique, Gokhayen?" And uh, or build that confidence and the self-love. Or I can move like I'm calling. And that's where we need to start. Mm. And also what would you say um is the right time who who to sa conversation e le ngwana ga who start a home who ruta gore there is differences mo batho I wouldn't say rebatisha the differences yeah. let's teach them respect aha uh-huh, for people it. to so get care. Care. that's very important how we want to treat other people whether ke batho ba bagolo ke batho ba banyane ke difference tsa rona or they are not friends mm. so i think what is important we need to teach kids to value human beings thank you so much batseba for giving us light kataba ena we really appreciate it thanks carol so at the end of the day batswadi it's up to you to decide gore o tlo irang but the conversation yone it has to happen at some point mare as batswadi ke bana ba lona you decide gona ano re tla le bona ka morago ga dipapatso After the break we talk to our children about road safety but how easy is it to talk to them about their private parts parents who are same sex and raising children together how do their children understand their families <laughs> It is said that it is easy for us to speak to our children about road safety and water safety, but for us to speak about the private parts of one, it becomes a bit uncomfortable. But it should be easy. That's why we're going to talk about it on Easy Peasy. <laughs> I'm joined by retired nurse and mother Tabi Mapoja to talk about this. Dimela me. Nikae. Getting. Okay, so it's very uncomfortable who bua ka taba ya di private parts ta bana, ne? It's difficult because le baba kholo mo pela rona even le ba before bona. It was a taboo ku bua ka di private parts as as they are in le tlhapa. Mhm. In le tlhapa hence they had to use mabitso tshwana le bo kwae. Mm. <laughs> to make it iska sound a vulgar eh marione is it vulgar it's not ke bona ba yentse vulgar for some reason i don't know but rona re grille ntse go le yalo re grille go le yalo but now fortunately with my kids i was very open with them and fortunately for me ne ba botsa dipotso so you know how ngwana are ali mshimane ali a toddler or setsa go di lenyana a bona ngwanyana re wa e ba mosegile ka thipa because wa compare le ena e ngwanyana party a hai gore re etse iska sound a very vulgar ne re bitsa kuku but the right way ta ena ke nyo e ya ba shimane somebody we say ke pipi i don't know pipi is africans or what but ne re etse ba le rona e le motsoko The parents are on a very deprived level who use yeah, this correct, as yes. they are yes how sa khone go ba open about your parts how are you going to relate go re go etsa getseng ka wena ya go tla ba it becomes easier that way thank you me tsabi go bua ka taba ena that's very uncomfortable maruruti le ka jeno go re acceptable and it's also for safety reasons ba na tshwantse ba tsebe go what these parts are called ba le bogile le nna ke le bogile go impact that and is to help other people of course and things well it's time now for our baby shower <laughs>
Okay, viewers, as we all know, parenting can be very, very costly. To make life a little easier for you, our baby shower segment is to shower you with gifts. This week, we have a baby hamper to give away. All you need to do is answer yes or no to one simple question correctly. To enter this competition, answer yes or no on our social media platforms. Answer correctly and one lucky viewer will be randomly selected to win this baby hamper, valued at over 2,500 Rand. The winner will be announced on our social media. Good luck! How do children of same-sex couples understand their families and how do their parents break it down to them? In Baby's Health A to Z, we unpack the letter G. Stay with us. Raising Babies 101. Same-sex relationships have always sparked debates. How do you have the conversation with your child about your unconventional family structures? This is today's big question. I'm joined by Nontlantlan Gomezulu and Tato Hwedi who want to have a child and are in a same-sex relationship. How do they go about it? Welcome, ladies. Thank you. I'm also rejoined by clinical psychologist Batziba Motwa. Uh, already from previous relationship and and decide how you want to have one or more. How did it come about or how did you come to the decision of your own together? We decided to have one or more and we decided to have one or more and we decided to have one or more relationship Although it's a six years by December. Okay. Is, is her child still too young? Um, I don't think so. Uh, um, because now, how are you going to explain to explain how are you going to explain uh, what is the plan? Mm. So I think the conversation needs to start. Mm. Uh, the question would be, what is difficult for Khoroba mm. to this conversation? Mm. What is your steps or your journey in, in, in this relationship? Okay. Mm. I'm reading with Njoba Ntanda. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tato. What's it about you are together as a couple? Yeah, hey, what's it? So, um, but if I want to bring you in here, how important is it, Hore, um, as as same sex couples, Hudula Fatilibana and discuss relationship, Yalona, and also the ambitions maybe to have Bana in the future? Um, I think as, as much as it's very important for any blended family, I'm, I'm glad you actually mentioned that, Hore, to have conversations, even for same-sex uh, parenting, it's still the same thing. The whole things apply. I think that now what we're dealing with, we're dealing with stigma, and I think that's, you know, sort of like the, the you know, uh, the, the issue here. Mm. Along Hori, we might have to prepare kids. How do we explain, Hori, you know, uh, your, your parents? It's like mele me o ndate, le ndate, you know, mm. those things. How do you explain it to the kids to protect them from the public? Mm. So we need to empower them mm. and speak How to them. How should they do it? Um, I think that we need to have a conversation for for, for now because mm. they, there's, an, there's a child's wilding thing in the picture. Mm. Uh, it seems bad, Hori, you know, badula uh, kaufela, um, so that's where we need to start. Okay. Mm. Uh, what is your advice here for same-sex couples in this particular uh, situation? Um, I think in the in the situation, uh, the com communication, the conversations they need to you know mm. to to start. Mm. How do they bring in you know, the child while in thing? And because now there's going to be another child, mm. you know, how do they now talk about it to include you know the whole family system? Mm. How is it going to work? Mm. You know, how you know are they going to protect? 
both kids, you know, from mm -hmm. the outside. Which conversations are they going to have, you know, long one so that they can understand? Mm -hmm. And who's also open to this? Are their families open? You know, friends open? Who is supporting the relationship? Mm -hmm. So those are, I would say, the challenges that might be there. But it might not be a challenge. You mm -hmm. might find out where people do understand, and it's something else. So it's mm -hmm. also going back to, you know, the couples being empowered themselves mm -hmm. about what they're doing, doing what they're doing in terms of giving love. Because what I'm hearing is that I'm hearing, Hori, we're having two adults mm -hmm. who wants to have a family, which is natural for people when they are in a relationship to start having, you know, a family. A family. So mm -hmm. it's the basic things, you know, to give love, to protect the kids and to empower them as well. So I think it's the very same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for coming in, uh, coming in studio. Galemocha, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Batsiva, as well. If you have been in a situation where your child has brought up a tough conversation and you had to find a way to talk about it, get in touch with us. We would love to hear from you. Search for Raising Babies 101 on all social media platforms. For now, it's a quick break. We'll be back. Cecil Atelang, we talk the letter G. And later, our dishy daddy, Wandi Lemulebazi. <laughs> Raising Babies 101. Different types of conversations that Batwari should have. This is Babies Health A to Z. Today's letter is G for grief. Grief is a response to loss, particularly due to a loss of someone or something that has died. While the terms are often used interchangeably, bereavement refers to the state of loss and grief is the reaction to that loss. I'm joined again by clinical psychologist Batseba Motwa. Batseba, how do we get grief? We've given a, a generic you know, explanation, Yayone. But from a clinical psychologist's perspective, can you only grief? Um, well, I actually love that uh, the definition because mm. it's so packed. Mm. Uh, it really um, does uh, explain better what mm. grief is. Uh, and and from us, we, we use there's a there's a professor Kubler Ross. Oilongkoro mm. utli leka di stage esta grief. Because of Kerbali, it's the way we react mm. to the loss. Uh, so is you know, it the same for for Bana as it is for? An adult? Um, because it, 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 not necessarily. Uh, I think with the adult, we have, um, we can express ourselves. Mm. But then with the kids, they might not voice it out, but we can see in their behaviors. Mm. And also, li, 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 li other things, they bang odd. Like, mm. or um, mm. or um, they don't want to be able to do it. Or they don't want to be able to do it. So those are some of the things that we can pick up. Mm -hmm. So we look at those things according to the way So those are the things that we can pick up. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, I, I do understand how grief is not necessarily compacted to you know losing a loved one per se. Mm -hmm. Let's say conversation Um because of Banabar Buanga Bone, they're still young. Mm. You know, they don't have the language. However, like Ripuile Hore, uh, the pets sometimes, if we've had the opportunity of Hore, a pet, a clock of it, what we have done can actually help us to prepare. You know, there's endings. Mm. So I think with different things, slowly we are talking about loss and preparing our kids. So when mm. it's now, time, then we would explain to them. In, in, in a language for, for, for their age group. Mm. You know, mama or papa has a little thing, um, depending on what is your culture, you know, with Christians, they can say, or maybe go, uh, whoever went to heaven, or for other cultures, you know, it will be different things that mm. you can use. Mm, mm. Uh, you did touch on on, on culture. Mm. Uh, there are some cultures that believe Hormana when people but 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 whisper words to a mm. child. Um, those are different cultural beliefs. Your take can how does it affect Bana if you know such? If it works, 
go for it. And, and you know, sometimes the people would also come, go, go, go to rooms and say, OK, what do you do? OK, OK, and then the other time they come back and, how, how did it go? No, mm. and then it really worked. Mm. So what I'm saying, Gohori, if, if, I mean, why break things or why not use things that can actually help us? Mm. If homo sabela or homo tusa, then do that. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, what do you look for, uh, look out for when your child is grieving? Um, I think look at the long you know, in terms of the normal day to day. Horobala, one also Hono Horobala, Gamhona, Narobala, like a thing. Nakomo Fitelangana are restless, or one are Asimula, Screamer, or you look at those things, Busi Hor or Sarobala Sentena. And then you also look at Gamho Aling, Opela Alla Pile, Hasaja, or Okwatile, you know, Dilonian and Zidin Signal. So we need to look at that. Um, Osabatla, who also enjoy Dilonian, I enjoy the interest, you know, so you look into that. And even the conversations is the Adibua, because I get a kids, they like playing. So when they play, just Listen, uh, sometimes they will play it out. Uh, mm -hmm. But if you listen to what the kids are doing there, you will actually pick up. If the loss is uh, heavy on them, the play there, you know, what has happened, and it, it's actually, you know, cathartic. It, they, it helps them to release all these emotions they long for they cannot really express. Mm -hmm. So even through play. Okay, mm -hmm. we've got a studio question. So your I think for now, uh, it's, 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 it's a personal preference. What I, what I would do, which I usually see how it works with the kids, I would ask the parents uh, to start like a, a photo album for the kids. Uh, whoever, if they still have pictures, I would ask them, can we do like a memory book for, mm. for this person? But you include the kids. You know, print out whatever that you have, whether it's on you know, your laptops or your phones and all that, print it out and work with the kid through the process. And sometimes they will make cards and they actually re really do enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, because remember, Hore, the other thing, even though this person is no longer here, this person was part of our lives. Mm -hmm. So it's also important to include the kids. And also to ask them, Hore, you know, which item do you want? Because sometimes for us, it's too difficult. And each time you see this thing, but ask the child, Hore, okay, we're going to give these things away. Which one would you like to keep? Mm -hmm. And the child can pick something up and it will help. Yeah. We have another question, more audience. Do you yeah. know? Hi, dear. Okay. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. If ele gore ke tsa do re a ke batlolela ngwana ka rona la mthotlo ka fetseng cuz no re wa ga go leka bana ba between 0 to 5 years right so no if maybe ke ngwana wa one year and then papa ha e tlhoka fetse and then a ke tsa do re ke mmalele wa gona o catch re like wa gona bo no re no solely different motho ke tla tsa ngwe mona a ke sa mona no and then it might affect the young yona ntwe o ke ba ka ngwana ba ne for example okay I think us Carol is a bully guy. Hoba sebe la if in your culture it works. But remember, when we are at that, like when I was one, there are certain memories. I mean, Lorun, I have the memories studying how it checka between one and three. Had so many things. Some of them they did still be there depending on what get into it. It's not be crystallized. So one will not remember. So now what I would say, Gohoro, you can talk to the child. You can comfort the child. Almost uh, there. How about not restless? Speak to the child, comfort the child, sing to the child, do all those things to comfort the child. Mm. And uh, there's also baby massages. You must remember, most of the trauma stays in our bodies. Mm. So when you do get the massages, it helps to release trauma. Yes, it's know. very important here. Yeah. Okay. So then that's when we need to be concerned because we do one hour. But then if you know a similar a decline, you know you see her no, who depressed the or you know my hour hope like all got last or pillar Allah. And this is not the kind of child almost rising. And then Nakongo Simula Yano Obiza Manaba Bang, Udira Lozel Hordia Makat, that's when you become concerned. Hori, you know, this is out of the ordinary. They will try to write on one hour, then you do seek help at that point. So let's say the child is three months or four months and they kind of feel that if Paskabu fell like Amoto, for some reason one will just accept her moto did not you know exist for some reason. Maybe Nemaso Grani Limoto or whatever the reasons may be. Is this a good practice for a parent to take on? You know, um, 
if there was a relationship, it's only fair for the child, you know, to know. Mm. And I think for if for sometimes the kid uh, below, f I think below three, you know, when the what we would say the, the stimuli, whatever that is causing uh, discomfort, once it will heal, go for the kid, then they just go on with their life. Mm. So, but the child or would ask about this person that it means or we have, you know, to attend to that. Mm. But mm -hmm. however, if the person has been part of the life, yeah, the child's life, do we have the conversation? Mm -hmm. And I think the, the question would be, do we allow our kids to go to, you know, go graveside and go, mm -hmm. so for other kids, it's traumatic. For others, it's also a good process for them to understand. It also sparks conversation mm -hmm. because they would have seen what happened to their person. And later on, when they start understanding the whole concept, they are, you know, the spirit, the soul, the body, then it, it makes a bit of sense. As we wrap up conversation, and it is a very difficult discussion mm. to have. And like you mentioned earlier, Hore, but what is sometimes but like Hore, mang mang uile to heaven or mang mang, uh, you know, whatever culture or belief you you mm. follow. But but it's that way. What would you say, Hore, is a number one or most important way, Hore, but what is but interact le ba naba bo neka taba e e very uncomfortable because in some instances le mutso wa di ene ha so dili le grief ya hai. So it become it becomes difficult for ene a hona tlhalo sa kongwa neng if uh, What I would say, Gohori, uh, check if there's somebody willing available, whether in the family or the neighbors who have handled this, who's a bit older, who's a bit more matured, you know, in terms of the approach. However, seek professional help so that they can, you know, help you as the parent and help the child as well mm. to talk about this difficult thing. Mm. Because the other thing is that it's actually living with it because the child will ask. Okay, fine, you're telling me about God. Why didn't God heal my mother, mm. heal my dad? So you will have these conversations. What I would say is that the conversation continues. We don't just talk about it today. Mm. Let's see, as it comes up, as we sit down, we will look at the pictures. Because dinner table, if Nelet writes a Khudwila Fati together, the, the chair is empty. Mm, empty chair, and I think your name... Who's name dropping me off at school? So I think we need to have such conversations uh, throughout Mm. as they come up, even if they don't come up. And at some point, the child will also give you an indication. Mm. But, ah, no, it's fine. Kind of daddy or mommy's in a better place. And you'll be like, huh? You know, so our kids can really also help us with our own healing as well. Touched on some very interesting things, and I think Hone Anung, but to buy it's a horror twins by Riyang, well, in some form or other way, mm -hmm. to get through this very difficult thing. Thank you so much, Batseba, for sitting down with us. We're going to talk about Riyang, how Anna is suffering from grief or loss, and what to do as Muswadi or Batswadi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, when raising babies returns, Rula Fatsili Wandile Mulebadzi, our dishy daddy. We'll be right back. More Raising Babies 101. Our dishy daddy for today is actor Wandile Mulebadzi and his beautiful wife, Jessica, and his gorgeous, handsome son, Elijah. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. How are you guys doing? It's so nice you've come as a family here today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hectic. <laughs> How hectic. <Yeah. laughs> so we've got Elijah here, but I know you also have a, 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 a younger baby. What's your younger baby's name? Onalin. Yeah, now, Lynn. we were talking about uh, families that adopt acro across racial lines yeah. earlier on the show. And, um, of course, you are a beautifully mixed-race family. Yeah. And you've raised uh, a really uh, good-looking little man who's clearly and got naughty, a lot of personality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it been like for you as parents um, growing up, you know, having to uh, being a mixed-race couple and then obviously with your children? What's it been like? Um, I think... That's one of the reasons why I actually thought it would be good to come onto the show. You know, it's it's uh, one of those things that you have to deal with every day in South Africa. The race mm. issue is still a real one mm. and a very um, painful one for some people. Yeah. But I think Jessica and I have we've been able to be um, to be quite open with our, our love for each other, mm. um, and it's it's been something that we just sort of had to experience as things happen. You know, yeah. uh, you try and preempt it and sort of get yourself to how people are going to react, how they'll look at you, and every day changes. So yeah. it's just been one of those things. How have you yeah. dealt with it? I think it's much um, the same as just being in a relationship with Wendy, you know? Uh, being in a relationship with him prepared us for, for the next step, which, which was the children. 
So yeah, it comes with its challenges, mm. but it's also equally as rewarding as any other yes. family, you know? Yes. Yeah. Have you had conversations with Elijah about race? I don't think he sees it yet. No, he, it's uh, going to happen, mm. but at this point, I mean, he's three in two months. Mm. So I just, I just don't think he sees it. Grandpa's mm. grandpa and Kulu's Kulu. Yeah. And you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's actually talk about Kulu's Kulu, culture and tradition. Yeah. Wandile, um, sh share with us how that has been for your family. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's very hard to explain, I guess, in, in one word. Um, because like any relationship, you know, it's an evolving and changing and morphing uh, foundation. Um, but I think over time, it's, it's been a challenge for my parents to realize and my uncles and Buddha Khadi to understand that, okay, this is the woman that I've chosen mm -hmm. and want to settle down and have children with her. Um, the biggest things usually are the, are the cultural events, you know, mm -hmm. like Lenyalo, the birth of children. Mm -hmm. um, How do you mediate or how do you deal with that? I think I, the way I've dealt with it is that I've found a beautiful woman who's also very open to understanding and trying to accept the differences that happen, you know? Mm. And she just opens it, she opens herself up to how things will change. And just for you and your family? Um, I think Wendy and I um, have quite naturally reached an understanding uh, when it comes to us understanding what culture aspects are more important than others. Yeah. So it's just a, it's a balancing act, you know, like act. give and take and knowing where, where you, you can try to push the boundaries and where it's a no-go yeah. zone, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and with regards to dolls and stuff like that, I know some parents <laughs> like to buy, now we're in an age where you can find lots of dolls that are representative of different people. Yes. Um, yeah. With toys and things like that. So are you quite pedantic about that? I'll answer this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've seen the dolls and they come in black or white, mm. mostly. There's very few mixed mm. caramel colored ones. Mm. So I don't know what we're going to do, to be honest with you, because um, our daughter's three months, mm. so we haven't reached the doll stage. Yes, the doll stage, um, yes. But I, 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 think, I think we'll get both, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I'm sure when you, when you go out and about, uh, I know I have a friend who is, is, is also in a mixed couple relationship. Yeah, yeah. And people all just stay. They stay all the time. Mm. And people are inquisitive. Somehow they feel they have the right to ask the most inappropriate questions <laughs> ever. Yes. I have to ask, what is the most strangest question you've gotten about race and two of you and what was oh, your response man. to it? Um, well, I, it's, it's, you know, I think for me is that when we go, the further we go out of metropolitan areas, yeah. the worse it is. Like, Oof. Joburg, Cape Town, Durban, the looks are there, but they're not as dark as when you go to like uh, Otwaran, uh, Klabani, you know, then the looks really start getting hectic. Yeah. I think the strangest question I've ever got asked was um, whether, she, she, whether she cleans Malma Khoud, you know? <laughs> I was like, so I was like, uh, yes, she does. And she does, you know? So that was the weirdest question I've ever gotten. Okay, and for you, Jess? Um, I can't. We get asked questions a lot, and I think with regards to the looks, I mean, I think I even look at mixed race race couples. Yeah. You know, you just I don't know, you just look, you, you know. Look, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, the occasions are more interesting. Like for instance, if we go to the pharmacy, <laughs> okay. um, um, and Wendy's carrying a few items, I'm carrying a few items, and I go first and I put my stuff down, and Wendy comes and follows and puts his stuff down. The lady, the tailor's like, hey. Wait your turn, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're like, um, no, no um, we're together. We're together. <laughs> yeah. Our studio audience also wants to weigh in on this. Arukwe. Hello, how are you? Hey, hey, good, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Um, Wandi, I have a lot of money. 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 I have a lot of Mostly. Mostly. Mm -hmm. I think it's that's such a key question because we talked about it actually in marriage counseling, how we're gonna navigate that 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 issue of language. Mm -hmm. And we found that I, I really want I like to to, be, to speak Swan and Unalin as well. Um, and we speak English predominantly in the home, you know, and it's and he's picking up English a lot quicker. Yeah. Uh, but we found that when he sometimes when he plays with his cousins, they'll say something to him Kastwana and he knows what they're talking about. Mm, okay. So they, it's it's amazing how they basically absorb language a lot better. Mm -hmm. And 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 actually sort of linked to your doll's question, yeah. um, I I want to buy like the audio DVDs that because we 
drive and we're in traffic a lot. And so I want to get like uh, nursery rhymes mm. in Tsitsuana, those things, all those kind of nursery rhymes they can listen to. So language doesn't become this foreign thing, but actually something that he understands and appreciates, you know. Mm. What is a special thing you'd like to share about you and your family? Um, yeah, it's... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, it, 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 it does become, it's, yeah, that's such a good question, such a big one as well, because sometimes you don't want to be seen as the poster child for non-racialism, you know, although it happens very often that because you're in a mixed-race couple, mm. people think that you have a, a view on race in South Africa. And I guess my thing is just, as South Africans, we need to, need, we need to be more honest, you know. Um, when there are things that we don't understand, when we don't understand why, but what's all al Mahdi, why mm. they do some things, we need to ask. Mm. Um, I found that the races are actually a lot closer than we think. Mm. And because of the walls that we've created, we feel that people from Otwaran and Afrikaners from Bloemfontein are the most bizarre thing. When actually, if you just sit down and talk to them, you realize that they're not. They're just people like everyone else. What yeah. tough conversations have you had with your child? Uh, really, like, what do you want to eat? Yeah, yes, that's, yeah, no. I'm sure. At three, yeah. that's not really much you could. <laughs> okay, cool. I also want to find out from you, what advice do you have for, for parents who are, are going to have children um, and wow. are a mixed-race couple? What advice do you have for them? Because it is, it is quite tough being a parent alone, Absolutely. never mind any of the other dynamics. Yeah. Um. I think mine and Wendy's answers are a little bit different in this department. Wendy's quite aware of it, and I, I tend to have a bit more of a just be yourselves kind of an attitude. Your child will um, benefit from your good relationship as, as, as a couple and, and you two acting normal together mm. and m yeah. trying to make the household as normal as possible mm. so that he doesn't feel unique and different. He's mm. just... A child yeah. like any other one, you know? Yeah, I, I, our take is, is, is different and similar. It's like, my mm. thing is, be honest, you know? Uh, and don't, there was a question that I, that, that I saw in the, in, the, in the, when I was looking up the question for the show today. And one of them was, what are you gonna say to your child about race? Mm. And it's, it's important that as a parent that you're open to say, look, there are, <laughs> there are black people, there are Chinese people, there are Indian people, there, there are colored people, mm. but they're there and they exist. But ultimately it's just the covering, you know? And having those honest conversations, I think are important. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much to, to you all for coming. <laughs> you. I see you've taken all of the toys for yourself, Elijah. You want to see That's what good. do they do? Yes, play with them all. Thank you so much for coming and sharing thank you. your family thank you. with uh, everyone at home. Really appreciate awesome. it. Thank, thank you. you. To continue the conversations we had today, such as Raising Babies 101 on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube. For me, Carol Ofori, Har Khopuleng, Har Khopomele, Banabarona. Kar Banabarona, Kibukamoso Barona. From us here in studio, thank you to my Guests. Thank you to my studio audience and thank you to you at home. See you next week. Welcome to Pep Talk, your go-to place for everything to do with parenting and more. Parenting, as you've just seen on Raising Babies 101, is not easy. And this is why mom needs some time out every now and again. Getting some time off is important for moms. It's the best way to ensure that you show up when your child needs you, which is practically all the time. We all know the saying, when you look good, you feel good. Pep has a range of makeup products to help you accomplish exactly that. From mascara to lip gloss and lipsticks in a variety of colors, you can get it all at the best prices. Place your fingertips in ice water after applying nail polish to ensure they dry up faster. If you feel overwhelmed, just ask for help. Get a friend or family member to watch your baby, even if it's to squeeze in a much needed nap or pamper session. To relax, there are a few items you can grab to make your me time extra special. These throws will keep you warm and snug for those quick naps while your baby is also sleeping. Grab nail polish, which comes in multiple colors, and hand and nail cream. Bramley has a range of products to get you ready for your DIY pedicure and pampering session. 
happy pampering parents. Catch us again next time right here on Pep Talk. To stand a chance to win with Pep, get onto our social media pages and enter our weekly competition. You'll stand a chance to win some great prizes. See you next time.